får vi off. Never get a chainsaw for free off your dad. Well, yeah. Oh, my back. Ew, here we go. We're just getting ready. We're about to head out to Yungla. Uh, I got the big rig packed up. You can see it's a weapon. Oh man. Everything's packed in the boat. Boat's ready to go. We got another one in the back there. That's for another day, but hey honey. There she goes. What are we doing? We're getting ready to go, yeah? Yes, I'm Yungla? Yungla, Yungla Dam. We haven't been there forever, so I'm like excited. Let's the weather's like crap, so it's damn yeah. weather. I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm you packing getting ready. everything. Well, I've done my bit. But... Oh, look at that thing. Check it out. Have a look at that. A big driving. man to Second drive person. it. No. What do you see, brother? Will's always got work to do on his laptop. Ah, uh, so we're on our way to Yungala Dam. Currently going over the Pioneer River. Yes. Pretty cool little spot. Yeah. The main reason we're going up to Yungala and Yungala Dam in specific is for one reason. What's that reason? To catch a big sooty grunter because it is renowned for big sooties. Yes. So that's why we're going. That's the primarily that's the main reason why we're going. Youngly, as you're leaving Mackay, you, you're driving kind of northwest, and it's you're basically driving into the rainforest, and it, it is beautiful. So if you're thinking about coming up here, I can just 100%. do it. Absolutely do it. Like it's just gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous here. The camping ground itself. Yes. Is awesome for anyone who wants to pull the caravan up there, spend a night up there. It is dirt road going uh, into Yungla. You can pull a boat right up to the tent or to the campsite as well, yeah. which is pretty cool. You can't yeah. do that in too many other places. So yeah. you can camp right on the dam and beautiful spot. Oh, I think, oh, you know what? The worse the weather, the better the fishing for sooty. That's the general census so of it. Well, you get foul weather and you can't get out wide or you can't go out to the reef. You can't go out chase barra because they soak too much. Um, these bar the these fish are completely the opposite. Yeah. They love shitty weather. Oh, you get up there and uh, fingers crossed we'll, we'll get a few and hopefully we can get a few on camera too. Absolutely. So, so, looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it yeah. too. So, yeah. Love. Yeah, we have so much fun camping. Yeah, we do. It's awesome. Okay. Nothing okay. beats it. Yeah. Cool. What you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? I'm putting everything in the car. Why? Why? Have a look at that. Yeah. That's why. It's nasty. It's cold. It's going to rain. <laughs> We're going to get wet. It's going to be freezing. Anyway, that's what we do. Pork sorty. How good is that? So pretty. So pretty. Wow. Buddy, we made it. Quite a few people here. Okay. 
Yo, finally getting the boat in and it is a mess. Like, we're gonna spend about half an hour just cleaning it. Messy trip here. <laughs> but nonetheless, pretty cool. Made it. Yeah, baby. You just stay in the boat. Yep, that was my plan. Mate, it is cold. That water is freezing. I bet, that's why I'm up here. We've just jumped in the boat. We've quickly set up camp, wherever that is. Oh, sorry. Over the... Oh my God, there. <laughs> we just jumped in the boat. We've got the good old chainsaw. And we're about to go get some firewood before it's like pitch black. So. Meal. This is what happens when we get here in the dark. Then first night is always like the easiest meal. Mmm. Delicious. Huh? Can't beat a lamb chop. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If somebody ever asks me why I said yes to marrying you, I'm gonna say he bought me a marshmallow thing. I bought you a marshmallow thing. That is like the ultimate. That's reason. pretty cool. How good are these things? Like the laziness in it, though. Like, like I can sit right back here. Well, what's even better My is the size of these things. Look yeah, at them. They're jumbos. They're jumbos. So cool. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you seeing this? <laughs> How good is this? This is living Barry. So at the moment, it's pretty chilly, but we got showers coming over, so we've had to put everything away. But um, pretty comfy, pretty cosy, mm. chilling out and enjoying it. How about? So good. It's good. Sweetie. Oh, there it is. Morning. So we just woke up and guess what? Oh no. <laughs> the boat's gone. No shit. It's that windy. Guess where it is? They I got it next door. I told you we door. put the anchor out last night on the shore. Oh no. That's not good, eh? Unreal. Got it on. I think I go over and get it. What's well, back, isn't it? Mm. Oh. What happened? Got to tie it down. Got to put the anchor out. <laughs> Oh, where was it? Yeah, it was just, it was just making its way. So he oh, sat there and watched here. it make its way over and then he just... <laughs> fishing for. These are the sexiest rods ever. I love these rods. These good for tiger? Yeah. yeah. Imagine how cold it is at Copeton right now. I totally right. Oh. I think you should totally right. Well, oh, you want to have a spill? Not really. So, we're just getting these rods set up real quick. Um, we got three to five kilo rods, both of them. Oh, one's, a two, one's a two to four, I think, and the other one's three to five. 
um, 3000 size reels, Shimano. So they're Shimano Stratix. Um, they've got 10 pound braid on them and we're running them through to a 28 pound litre. The Jackal. Jackal. TN, TN60s. That's a TN50. And TN60s. So. Get a little 60 yeah. on yours. Yeah, I've got a 60 on mine, but. And then we'll throw spinner baits and everything else in between. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully we can get stuck into a carpool. The weather conditions aren't great, but. The weather conditions are terrible. We're going to struggle getting across the basin. Cool. Yeah, so hopefully we get stuck into them. Um, what's the time? It's about nine o'clock now. Had a cup of coffee. Had another cup of coffee. Had another cup of coffee and we're good to go. So let's go get them, eh? Can you go get my hat, please? Sorry. It's, on the, it's the maroon one. Come on, let's go. Hey. Come on, let's go. On the jerk bait. On the jerk bait, and I on just the bait swapped caster. over to the bait caster. Yeah. Because I am a little bit a uh, love hate relationship with the bait casters, but I've been using them more. So Good very fish. cool. Good, Good fish chunk. too. Uh, wow. Awesome, honey. Put him in the water. Yeah, drop him in. Yes. You. This is a good one, baby. fish I think. Good fish. Yeah, good fish. Good fish. That is a thumper, honey. 
Don't pull it. Right, you got that net? He's a giant. Big as that fish. Can you see him there? Yeah. Right. Just facing towards me. Good as that. Big fish, eh? Big fish. Great fish. Round of applause. Yo. Round of applause. We got it done. How good's that? You gonna pick up your babies now? You caught a giant. That thing was huge. Uh, I'll catch I'll get the little ones first. One. Give me that one for number two. Okay. Which way are you going to grip them? Yep, yeah, grip them. Okay. Look at this donk. What the? What is that? That thing is massive. Look at Look this at little, those... little tucker here. Yo. Hang on, I'll grab the other one. They're heavy oh. little buggers. They're full. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Nice. How good's that? Pretty good. Morning, what's it been? A couple of hours? Oh, got tough, it done. A couple of hours. First few hours. So good. Here, put them back. But yeah, quality fish, eh? It's so good. They're kissing. All on the little vibes. Yeah. So good. This is what we come here for. That's what we came here for. Beautiful fishery. Finally. Beautiful dam, and the wind died down, so finally got a, a good bit of weather. And within like oh, 20 minutes, we had full fish. So yep. there you go. That's so cool. Yeah. Look at him out here. Ew. That's so cool. All right, get it. Yeah, buddy. Great northern. Ew. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. What an evening, eh? So good. I caught all the fish today. <laughs> As per usual. <laughs> Trust you to Nothing come up Nothing new one. there. Nah, it's beautiful up here, eh? Stunning. Actually a pretty tough day of fishing, but... I've got six in the end. Six, yeah. Six for the day. Six for the day. We had about four in the matter of about half an hour. But conditions aren't the best. <laughs> There's no way, babe. Mmm. What a morning. So we got up this morning, um, got out, and the campsite's been sabotaged. We got shit on the floor. Um, someone's come through, and they've made a mess of everything. And not only that, they went through the boat down the bottom there. And they made a mess and they've gone through the boat, flogged the rod, cut lures, cut rods, flogged tackle. Yeah, you wouldn't expect that coming from up here at Yungala. There's people camping all along the bank here, but yeah, you can see all the footprints all down the carpet, flogged rods. Not cool, surely not, you know, like. Surely not. Not cool. Anyway, keep going.
Straight through that tree. Yeah. yeah. Why are you fishing him up then? Big fish. No, it's a big sorry. Oh. Yeah, baby. I knew we should. Have. Fish. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Woohoo! Catching. Catching. Good job. Oh, that's a big sort. That's what we want. Heck yeah! You, you. I think that's pretty damn cool, eh? Hey? So cool. Oh yeah. That's awesome. That's a big fish, mate. Yeah. Well, you want to get the? Do you want to get the um, big one? Yeah. I'll drop the hooks there. Oh wow, good fish. I have. Oh. What do you got there? Yeah, baby. Finally got another one. It's been a bit tough. Hasn't been easy this afternoon, but finally, this is what we came for. And it's a beast. Yes, please. How good, eh? So We're having good. a ball now. <sighs> we can put him back. Yeah. Yeah. Take some photos of your first day. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Yeah. Here we go. You see a fish? Yes, please. Get another one. Let's go. Let's go. Quick update, what we've been doing, let's have a look over here. Got the fish eagle flying out in the back, that's pretty cool. We've been, what we've been doing is be going to these big trees that have got nests on them. So it's either shag or in this case it's a it's an osprey or a fish eagle. And um, we're getting underneath them and the fish have been sitting in about 10 meters of water so as we get right under that nest so this fish will be marking in about 8-10 meters of water. And we'll be digging them up. Not every tree's got fish under it, but uh, these ones with the nest seem to be on the fish. So we're getting under them, watching the sounder, sending the lures down, jigging them in the front of their faces and if the fish are there they're pretty well, pretty well eating them straight away. So. Yeah, some are different, but some are pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll give it a go and see if we can get a few. Eh? Yeah, as you can see, that's a lure going down all the way to the bottom.
one fish on it there now. You can see it sitting there. Let's have a look. Yep. Yep, got him. You on? Down, down the hatch. You, pretty cool leg. Fishy. Awesome. Do you just want to kill that? So